Welcome to Nat's Knackers Yard. Uh, I'm Nat and this is the Knackers Yard. Um, and here we have my, what is it, Hartford HD125. Um, a little bit of tinkering and a lot of thinking um, yesterday evening after picking this up. Um, and a few so what's. Um, and I have got my hands a little bit dirty while I've been going. Um, I reckon the issue with it is air rather than fuel. Um, why? Because it's got that little filter on it and it is um, a very porous filter so I think it's probably just choking itself out with too much air and because its problem is air related um, it's kind of blanking out things that could go wrong see the EGR sat over there and I've made a, a quick blanking plate for it over there on the side of the engine so that's you know I've deleted the EGR rightly or wrongly off you go right so that's off um, looking at the airflow so it's just got a pod filter on the side there and other things I've noticed is the bracket here has been bent up I don't have that panel I do have the left hand panel um, so yeah so what I did last night was I found a washer that fitted really quite nicely and I've just sealanted that and it fits perfectly actually put the sealant on that and I've also gone around the top of the filter because there are any cheap filters um, it just clipped in but obviously it was gaping air around that gap so that's got a load of sealant on it as well so that'll go back on and jobs are good and um, the carb is new the carb is completely new I'm adamant that it hasn't been rejetted so what I'm going to do I'm not going to whip that carb off because it's beautifully clean, I'm not going to clean it any more than it already is, uh, certainly not. Um, so uh, I'm just going to chuck this back on and give it a go uh, shortly. Um, maybe even chuck the tank on rather than use a bottle, because um, why wouldn't you? Um, so that's going to go back on. And we'll see if that cures some of the woes. Um, other bits, uh, I've got that rear indicator working, it literally just come on plug there. Um, I'm toying as to whether or not to swap those out into something a little bit more on the contemporary, I suppose. I do have, courtesy of Mike's kit, I do have something like that. Obviously these are bulb, these are LEDs, but I have got these amazing inline relays um, to sort the uh, flashing speed issue straight out. So I don't know, I might stick with them, I might not, I don't quite know yet. <clears throat> I was considering what to do with the battery because if I'm going for this open frame look then that just doesn't work. Um, it's not the smallest battery. I could probably see if I could find something smaller and try and drop it in the recess which is one option. Um, but what I might also do is keep the side panel which I've got over there on the spare wheel for their phaser. Chuck the side panel on and then make more of a feature out of this by sticking in effectively a blanking plate so imagine a plate mounted on the other side of that in there and then painted whatever size that is so you, you know makes a feature out of that little um that little pod filter uh, on the front this mud guard is you know i think the technical word for it is fucked um but what i do have is a previous cut down I can't remember what I got that for it might even date all the way back to um, EN 450 bobber that I was doing but it looks about the same now if that fits obviously without the extension bodge pieces on there if that fits it's gonna make my life a lot easier because I've got a short cut down um, uh, uh, my god even with potentially the hole in it for the uh, speedo cable which is proper handy um i only just noticed actually the brakes on the other side on this that's weird anyway um yeah i mean and other stuff i just had a good look at the wheels last night the wheels are mint those are absolutely bang on 
Uh, normally they'd be chunks and lumps out of them. By the, certainly by the time I get them, they normally are. But actually, they're absolutely fine. Um, I had a look at getting some clips for this, which would mean a new headset stock. Um, <coughs> the key issue I've got with that is this thing. Oops. This thing is hollow. So I can't. I was going to grind it down and have it flat. So I'd have to put a plate or something across there. Still doable, but I just think it wrecks the riding position too much. It's too low. It's only a little bike. And by putting those bars even lower, um, just gets a bit, a bit much. Now, what I can do is get some new bars. They're 22 mil bars. I measured them and adjust the stance a little bit. But I think it's really working out what to do between now and then. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to overly change the stance of it. I just don't think it will work. Um, so it is looking more and more like a tart up and go. But what I'm going to do shortly, um, after I've had something to eat and a cup of tea, is um, uh, yeah, get that filter back on, chuck the tank back on, and see if I get any life out of the old boy. Cool. Cheers. All right. So it was even uh, even more. It wasn't happy with that. Um, restriction so I've taken that out it's still got a restriction because I've got rid of the random airflow there I get a start but it just dies off uh, it idles fine uh, and then it dies off so let's check on the fuel supply so I'm going to whip the tank off and stick a secondary on and see if it's anything from there right tank off uh, secondary tank on dummy tank whatever you want to call it um, I've realised I'm not being very systematic here, so let's check spark first. So, left the main spark in, got the second, another spark there. Nice, strong, booming spark. Picking out of that. Should probably do a compression test, but I can't be bothered at the moment. Um, mostly because I think the seal's gone on my set. Right, so we're in. I know I've got spark, I know I've got fuel, I know I've got fuel because it's leaking out the top there. It's trying, bless it. Decent idle. Got to be a bit careful, it keeps trying to vibrate its way down my path. <laughs> um. Right, that seems fine to me. So that to me says it's that because when it's dropping straight through off the dummy tank it's not bogging down i'm going to leave it idling to see if it idles itself out because that's what it has been doing failing that it is that fuel tap which is a pain in the ass because it's an awkward one it's got their like this cross there, 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 the cross thread at the top um, and I've just put fuel in it which is a bit feckin' irritating um, so that says to me I might just be able to clean it out I'm going to try um, uh, chuck in a, while that's idling I'm going to get some release spray and give it a good dosing just see if it might need clearing out because if it's not getting enough fuel from the tank it's just not going to run is it
mean, that's running strong, but I'll leave it going. I'll leave it going in the background. Yeah, so that's been idling for a while now. It doesn't like it, it likes to hide, it likes to high idle. If you drop it down, it will die off eventually, so it's got quite a high idle. Yep, whatever. Um, I'm just draining that tank over there and I'll have a look at the tap. Right, so I've taken the petcock off and there is some shite various. I don't know how much you can see it. There you go, that white flake. Uh, so I'm going to get some carb cleaner and just give that a dose out, I think. Um, now I could take the front off. I think I probably will just while it's off. Let's give it a look. Uh, obviously I'm not the expert of what it should look like, but uh, there is some crap in there gumming it up. Um, how much you can see actually, like down the bottom there. There is crud from somewhere. So I'm going to give this a deuce out and then chuck it all back together, see if that makes any difference. Right, so that's the tap cleaned up. I was quite gungy, I'm hoping that's what it was. Uh, tank back on, let's give it a go. <laughs> Whack it up and down the hill. Right, happy with that. Uh, I got to the top of the hill and it died, and I thought, oh Christ, he hasn't fixed it. Uh, then I realised I forgot to turn the pet cock on. <laughs> um, yeah, just took a quick lap around the block. That is bangers. That's there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a great little thing. Um, the previous, the guy that was selling it was saying how comfortable it is, and he wasn't wrong. Um, it really is a a, a a nice ride, a really nice ride. Um, right. So what am I going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Um, runs fine. Not there's nothing nothing to do with that. That is as irritating as you like. So I will have a look at what's wrong with that. I've got a strange feeling it's sort of a ball bearing out of it. But no point taking it off because it did work earlier. <laughs> Just needs a tiny bit of rev to catch when you start but hey um yeah first things first i want to see if that mud guard fits so i'm gonna whip the wheel off and have a look and look at that it fits it's the right one i don't think that's ever happened to me before that's slightly nuts um yeah so you've got the hole um I don't want to try this too hard because I'm only going to have to take it off again. But yeah, two secs, mate. Just filming. Um, look at that, awesome. Right, sweet. I'm going to whip that off because whatever paint I'm going to do on that, that's going to need a paint, and it's a bit scrappy. It needs tidying up anyway. Uh, I'm going to bang the wheel back on. Then I might just chuck a load of paint stripper on. Um, what am I going to do? I'm going to be slightly boring with a different twist. I already have here left over from, I think, Dawn's um, uh, DNA 125 um, red. So, red candy coat. Uh, what I also have is. Hey. If I can find them. <laughs> oh well, I'll put them down somewhere. Um, from the stash that Mike handed off to me, I've got some red grips, so I'm going to bang those on as well. Um, let me see if I can find them. 
Right, so there we go, that's it. Stripped down as far as I... Well, not as far as I need to, as far as I want to. It doesn't really need stripping down. I could have just flogged it on now I've tilted it. But, what's the point in that? Where's the fun in that, eh? Um, yeah, so, I've kind of got my work set out over here. Uh, certainly for the next few days, it might be a few evening projects, we're just stripping down, rubbing down and maybe chucking some paint on. Um, everything's stripped off what wants to be off, including the exhaust, because I've got some high temp paint, so I'll, I'll give that a bang over as well. Um, uh, and it's just a damn sight easy to do it off the bike than on. Um, I'm going to bang this bad boy right at the back of the garage, bearing in mind that at some point during the week, um, I've got the other two coming back once they've had their tyres sorted from the MOTs, uh, and I'll get them back with the year's MOT and get them on to the market. Uh, probably, I'm still very tempted to keep the phaser. <laughs> Right, that'll do me for um, another week. Um, I'll dip in and out of bits and pieces on the uh, bodywork for this as I um, as I scrape various amounts of uh, uh, crap off them and try and sort them. Um, uh, I'm not too. The tank is quite fucked, uh, and it's going to take a fair amount. Um, no, it's no surprise there, and, and the cellar was completely open. Um, somebody tried to rat bike it before and rust it out. Um, which they repaired and repainted, um, but um, didn't really last. Um, so let's see how I get on with it. Um, yeah, that'll do me for a week, I think. Thanks very much all. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do, and you can keep track on what I'm, what the, whatever the hell I'm gonna do with this little bad boy. Um, it's a cool little bike, that's all it is. It's just a cool little bike. Uh, got it for cheap, I'll sell it for cheap, looking a lot better. Cheers all, ta-da.